Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim and Miss Tammy. We are on our way to the gym this morning. I talked her into going with me. Tammy's not necessarily a big gym person. She loves walking. Outdoors. Yes, outdoors. Mm -hmm. She'll walk my legs off. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I, want her, I want her to see this gym and, and come in there. It's so hot. And first we're gonna to go to Tide Cleaners and pick up my slacks and my vest that I had cleaned a couple of days ago for my gig. I told you guys that I'm off until Saturday. I'm only gonna have one day a week for the rest of this month, this Saturday and next Saturday that I have work. But that other marketing company that I hooked up with has been sending me emails and a third one offering me gigs. So. I'm getting some work and, and that's good. At the same time, you know, I like that retirement type too where I don't have to do anything and I keep wanting to wax the truck again, but I really want to get Miss Tammy's Honda waxed and cleaned up. I need to go to the dealer and get an oil change. And a lot of you guys know I have this oil maintenance required light on my truck and there's a few things that I want to do and possibly get a brake controller for the truck. We might start traveling in the next month. We're thinking of a lot of things. What do you think, Miss Tammy? Uh, I don't know. Are you along for the ride? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that Miss Tammy is shy. And just to share you a little bit about her personal, not too personal, but Miss Tammy has suffered from migraines for how long? About 32 years. Only 30 years? 32. <laughs> yeah. And so she, she goes to these doctors and they, what do they do? They recommend medicines and... Yeah, everyone in the world. And Tammy yeah, says, done that, been there, done that. Apparently, you know, it's a, it's a, um, a chronic illness where there's no real cure. But I know that probably a lot of you out there are listening to this right now and saying, I suffer from migraines and you already know. I don't know, I can't be in her shoes, but I see her sometimes just so miserable and how she can endure that pain. I can't endure, you know, pain for long at all. How do you do it? Well, that's why I wear the sunglasses all the time. Because yeah. just the rays from the sun, uh, just squinting a little bit will start it. And any smell of bleach or chemicals or anything practically. So I always wear sunglasses. Even if it's very cloudy, I still feel I have to squint and can start a headache. Okay. So I've had one about the past four days, really. Is there anything Continual. that you can possibly offer those out there that um, have migraines? What, what helps well, for you? Cold ice on the back of the skull and on the, on the front. And then I put a cold compress on the side and lay down and the darkness and everything. Um, definitely no red wine or alcohol. It just makes it worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That won't kill the pain. So, that would just make no, it worse. No. But I'm taking everything in the world. They prescribed every new thing. Nothing really works. It goes yeah. in cycles and just has to finish. What's but, uh, What's like the longest? How, how long are your cycles? Oh, well, the last one was... You hear that, folks? So you'll see me sometimes, and then I never Ten see. weeks that she Do can you suffer. you remember when you were taking me all the time? Yeah. We're like, it's eight weeks, it's nine weeks, it's ten weeks, yeah. And I'll just tell you right now, Tammy, she's a real trooper. She can be in the worst of it, mm -hmm. and it won't stop her from going out and taking a walk, or if we want to go get something to eat, because she's just resolved to the fact that yeah. it doesn't do any good to... I mean, sometimes she does have to, you know, just sit in a dark room and, and she can't go anywhere, but mm -hmm. when they're not as bad, she, you just push through them, huh? Yeah, you have to. So. And, you know, other than you can see her demeanor is a little different. Oh, well, as you can imagine, because she's enduring that pain. Mm -hmm. She's really a trooper. I mean, uh, I've known her for 40 years and I've seen these cycles with her. Why can't they fix it? Tell them about the shots you used to take. The what's it called? Amitrex or something? Yeah, yeah. They used to stick them in my stomach. I used she, to work. I used to work, and I have to go in the bathroom and 
jab myself and then it'd be like feel real sick for a little bit but then it would feel better but then you're very lethargic and stuff and everything but yeah yeah yeah, yeah she she worked for the school district for a long time and she had that good insurance you know that she had with her job and um so that paid for that because those things are very expensive aren't yeah, they like 700 dollars a piece yeah. wow wow but i got out of that and i don't like it i don't do it anymore i'll just try to handle it yeah it's myself. been a long time since you've actually it they put me on a bunch of stuff over in sarasota all kinds of different cocktails and stuff remember it didn't yeah really work it just hit me i feel that exercise does help they say the endorphins in your brain but you know that's why when I can be out, I am. But other times, I have to be laying down. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I took her to the emergency room at least three times since I've known her where it got to be so bad. They had to, they call it a cocktail. Yeah, they put IV. And they put an IV together. in you. And, mm -hmm. you know, she's there a couple, three hours, the whole process. And then we leave. And, you know, it's just a temporary relief. There's no cure. So, yeah. is health wealth? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows better. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. That's why when we talk about different things on the channel, is that being happy and, you know, exercising and staying healthy and smiling and, you know, a mental attitude will do a lot for you too. Thinking positive. There's a lot of illnesses and, and pains that can be helped through... Uh, you know, trusting in the Lord and your own positive thinking and just, you know, just not accepting it. You know, don't just lay there and so do what you can is what I'm saying. Yeah. But <clears throat> so um, you're dealing with one right now? Yeah. Yeah. But you do take Excedrin, right? You, you tell the people out there. Yeah. And then that <clears throat> hurts my stomach. So I have to take stuff from my stomach. So it's the old story. She switches a headache to a tummy ache because the Excedrins are terrible for the stomach. But she waits to the, what, you just can't take it anymore and then you... Yeah, but, yeah, I used to take a lot of the prescription stuff, but, no, yeah, it's really heavy. I don't like it, so, you know. Yeah, a lot of the, um, the medications that, before you suggest some things out there, folks... Done it all. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. She, Chiropractors, electro stuff, uh, the acupuncture, um, you know, everything. And what is your Physical feel therapy. <laughs> what is your feeling about some of those pills like muscle relaxers? And, uh, no, it doesn't do anything. They're always... feel bad. They're always advising her and prescribing her, you know, these muscle relaxers. She cannot stand no. alternative... Mm -hmm. I mean, she's tried them. She just doesn't like how they make her feel. Mm -mm. No. So, anyway, didn't uh, want to bring you down or anything, but... Um, it's a downer. <laughs> <laughs> but we did want to we did want to bring Tammy back on uh, mm -hmm. the video and, and say hi. And, yeah, I, and I told her, I said, you know, I'd like to talk to the people about the comments because you know very few get answered we're so addicted to reading them that uh you'll you'll see uh, two things on the comment i want to talk about the spammer the oh, spammer scammer dumb. yeah i appreciate you guys telling me about it but i already know i think a lot of youtubers have that issue where someone hijacks your profile picture and then they put in this thing about whatsapp and then they they uh, pretend to have all these replies on their videos about, oh yeah, Alexandria really helped me with my investments, and I don't know what their end game is, no but we're not, we're not investors. We don't want you to invest in anything. We're not trying to. So when you see that kind of stuff, or it sounds kind of fishy, as one uh, comment I got the other day was funny, it sounds kind of spammy, or no, sounds kind of mm -hmm. scammy. I'm like, you hit it. It is scammy. Just ignore it. And I see them, and I report them, and I delete them, and I do all that. But they, like weeds, they just keep popping up. But briefly on the on the comments, what I wanted to say was, we we love them. We we read some of the nicest things. Again, I have to repeat myself because I don't want you to think 
when I don't answer. You're, you're laying out a question there. You need an answer. You're wanting an answer. Or you're suggesting a, um, a video. Or you have a legitimate concern. And if it goes unanswered, it doesn't. We are trying to, I'm trying to address them in the videos. And I'm telling you right now, your comment is read. And she reads them and she'll say, listen to this one, Tim. And I'll say, listen to this one, Tammy, and we'll talk about them. So go ahead, keep, keep commenting. Don't worry, they're getting read. I'll answer as many as I can. Some just make me, I have to respond to you. And I, what I was gonna say is I know you don't have to do that or take the time, but your, your comments are so nice and lengthy and, and from the heart. Lengthy. Huh? Lengthy. Lengthy. How does it look? Lengthy. lengthy. And I've been, and, I, and I've been, Tammy corrects me on my grammar all the time. I even had a commenter tell me this morning about. Not post to. It's well, not that to. one. I try to catch myself on that one, but I said, uh, mm -hmm. supposedly instead of supposedly. Yeah. So I am from the South. Mm -hmm. I got some slang. Got some. I've been told by many got people some. in my life, they'll hear something and, you know, they have. Tammy's an excellent speller. She mm -hmm. was an excellent student in school. Uh, yeah. She understands all that stuff, the adverbs and pronouns and... Conjunction. Conjunction. Conjun <laughs> she knows it all. I can ask her how to... Yeah. She's never not known how to spell anything. Mm -hmm. She can spell it. So if you hear something that bends your ears, I apologize for my sounding ignorant, but I'm not. <laughs> he writes his own stuff. So if it's bad grammar and stuff, that's on but, but I do want to improve. Like I talked about in my videos about improving in other areas uh, in my life, in all areas. Mm -hmm. And so I appreciate you telling me about that. You hear something? Leave it in the comment. I'll try not to say that again. We all want to improve. So anyway, we're almost to the Tide Cleaners. It was just a short one to say hi to everybody and that we care about mm -hmm. you. And we do, we can't believe it. 36,000 going and just climbing. Beautiful souls out there uh, listening to the channel. And uh, another reason why I want to introduce Tammy again this morning is we've read so many comments about people that have, you know, seen her in a couple of videos and want to hear more from her. She's a little shy, but she's a real sweetheart. I don't like the camera in my face. Yeah, she don't like the camera in her face. <laughs> so anyway, we just have one thing to tell you guys to do today, and that is crush, crush it. it. 